book is called The Lion Is In. Delia Efron, welcome to Bookmark. Thank you. So good to have you here. And I was so sorry to hear about your sister, Nora. I know. Everyone misses her so much, especially me. I bet. As, I mean, there's four sisters. There's four <laughs> sisters, yes. And it's a writing family. All yes. of us are writers. And so it was, you know, we grew up in a house where my dad yelled, that's a great line, write it down, every time I said something funny. So there's a kind of, we sort of grew up. We had writer parents, mm -hmm. and then we collaborated. So it was, you know, close. Yeah. So this latest one is The Lion is In, which, as I understand it, came from an anxiety attack. Well, yes, okay. originally it certainly did. Okay. I was an absolute wreck about something that was going to go on for quite a while. Can you and, share, or is that private? Um, there was a lot going on okay. in my life, okay. and um, no. Okay, and, uh, I have to ask. And I went to sleep, uh -huh. and I and oh, but before I went to sleep, okay. I said, "How am I ever going to get through this? This? Whatever. How? How will I get without severe medication?" <laughs> so I went to sleep, and I had this dream about three women. They were in a bar in this strange bar built of materials hammered every which way. It was in North Carolina, mm -hmm. a state I'd never been in in You'd my life. You'd never been to North no. Carolina. No. But you knew, it's very yes. clear in the dream, it's North Absolute, Carolina. Yeah, absolutely. And two of the women were young, in their 20s, mm -hmm. and uh, one was in a wedding dress. And the other woman, Rita, the other heroine, was 50. And I knew they were all three on the run from their lives. And I knew that they needed to change their lives. And in the bar with them, was a lion. So, I mean, the idea that three women and a lion walk into a bar. It all, it all, yes, I like know. Is that joke, yeah. you know? I know. My, my editor calls it Thelma and Louise yeah. Cross with Born Free. Yeah. <laughs> but, Clearly it worked, though. But Yeah, but it, this is an adventure. It is an adventure story. And because I write movies, I love I love it for people to really want to turn the page. I mean, storytelling okay. is it's a big... Move. Is, yeah, it's got to move for me. Uh, but And I learned that in movie writing. But the thing is, this is the story of three women at a crossroads, mm -hmm. and the one who is 50 has, has walked out on a, on a soul-crushing marriage mm. and is trying to figure out what sh whether she can actually get away or she can't. Can she actually walk out? Yeah. I mean, can, can she, she keep going yeah, in that can direction? She, yes, and will he come after her? Mm -hmm. And does will she, she have the, she, Does she have the courage to mm -hmm. keep going? And I think we all hit moments, and the other two women are also at, at turning points in their lives. And I think it's such an important thing that how we get the courage to, to make the detours, how we have the bravery to get in the cage with a lion, which mm -hmm. sometimes we have to do. Right. Sometimes we need to roar. You know, all these things. But the lion, the lion, Marcel, um, he has a hand in changing everyone. And, and they does. change his life. So let me get back to this dream. First of all, are you a, a vivid dreamer? Is this no, I never had anything like this happen before. And the very weird thing is I woke up knowing that I had given myself a gift. That I had you given, knew. I knew I'd okay. given myself a story. And it was a place I could live and be happy. I wrote it without doing research, which you never do. Writers do right. the reverse. Write what you know. Yes, yeah. but mm -hmm. also if you're going to be in a in a place like mm -hmm. North Carolina, mm -hmm. go there first. But I didn't. I went after. And I went to sort of deepen the book. And when I got there, well, there's a moment in the book where, where Rita, my 50-year-old heroine, who says to herself when she looks in the mirror, who I am is not a life sentence. Mm. This woman wants her lion to have a tree. He's never had a tree. He's in the bar. and. Um, She's driving down a country road, and she sees this tree alone in a field, and it looks like it's been struck by lightning. It, it has no foliage. It's just a mighty trunk and some big branches. I mean, some, some big yeah, limbs, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. but no branches. And she stops the car, and she convinces these guys to dig up this tree and take it back to the bar. So where the lion can have so the, the tree. So yeah. can have it. All right. I'm driving down a country no. road. There's no, the tree. and all I'm doing, yes, There's all the I'm doing is putting into the GPS take back roads and picking a random destination when I got down there. And there in this field is the tree. What did you do when you saw the tree? I screamed. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I absolutely screamed. And I stopped the car. No, my niece was driving, and she stopped the car because mm -hmm. she thought something horrible had happened to me. <laughs> and we got out, and we're looking at the tree, and I'm absolutely in shock. And a man drives by in a pickup truck, and he stops and he says, um, is everything okay? And he okay? has a lion in the back. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is very strange. He says, oh, I know all about that tree. It's my friend's tree. Um, he said, uh, 
It's been here forever, he said. And in my story, Marcel, my lion, doesn't know what to do with a tree because he's never had one, so he just rubs himself against it. He says, you know, the bark's rubbed off because all the goats over there come over and rub themselves against the tree. Did you about pass so, out? So, yeah, I did about pass out. And then I, I one, Clayton, who owns the bar, mm -hmm. I needed to go into a house and uh, where, kind of see what he, what his house might look like. And I answered an ad on the wall of a Mexican restaurant for a woman who was selling bread out of her home. Uh -huh. And um, Clayton, in my book, drives a vintage Chevy Bel Air. It's the, besides the lion and the bar, that's his only other valuable uh -huh. possession. And, and I go there, I chat with her, her husband comes home, and I, when I leave, he is driving a vintage Chevy Bel Air. So what do you make out of all this, of what came to the dream? I keep thinking, did I have a religious yeah. experience yeah. and I'm too unreligious mm -hmm. to know it? I mean, I have absolutely... You it, really it, don't know what to do. It, I did make not know. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was clearly a mystical experience. The book, you know, was obviously something I was meant to write. Mm -hmm. There was a destiny to it. It was meant, I think, to have a lot. I mean, I think the lion, which lions are powerful animals and there's a sense of peace around them and I think I needed I needed my lion mm -hmm. and in the course of this book he is higher power shrink dance partner friend all lover things. all things mm -hmm. and I think I created something I needed but then it turned out it was already there so kind of like I Oz know. I mean you kind of yeah. <laughs> you kind of had it all the time yeah, that's but you right. needed that journey but I don't understand it it's almost like parallel universes but it sounds like that book was the best medicine possible. It, oh, absolutely. Writing that. this book was, it was fantastic. Do you think me. maybe it's a movie? I mean, there's the screenwriter in Yes, here. although I'm also developing it as a play. Oh, oh. well, why choose? Yes, exactly. Okay. But I mm -hmm. saw War Horse. Uh -huh. Did you see War Horse? I didn't, but I'm oh, familiar okay. with it. Oh, okay. Well, the horse Very, is created yeah. in this amazing puppetry by the Handspring Puppet Company. And I suddenly thought, my lion could be that. My lion could be on stage. And I think those three women and their search, you know, for a new life. It's, it's a powerful story. I think it might work. I bet it's touched a lot of women. Um, and then what's next for you besides developing the play? Well, I have, I have another novel mm -hmm. that I'm writing. Did that show up in a dream? No, it no. did not, actually. It mm -hmm. showed up on a vacation, but I'm not talking. It's always bad luck, I think, okay. to talk about your, your next book. It is good. Well, as is your new book. We are looking forward to a lot of people enjoying it. Thank you. Today, Arfon, thank you so much Thanks for stopping for having by me. Book Market. It's called The Lion Is In.